You're watching the TC MMA podcast. Now, in the next one, you got a light heavyweight division. You got a, a, a really good one here. Brazil home Brazil. Kyle Machado, 8 and 3. First, Brenson Ribeiro, 15 and 7. Who I believe, let me just double check, has a 100% finish rate as well. So, you know, you got that in this one. And uh, if Ribeiro wins, it's going to be by finish, it seems like. And if Mahato wins, it's probably going to be by decision. But didn't see that during the predictions. So let's see what we go with here. Let's get into it right now. In the light heavyweight division at UFC Edmonton, you got Kyle Mac uh, Mikado taking on Brenson Ribeiro. And certainly an interesting fight here in the main card. Now, Mikado, 8-3. Ribeiro, 15-7. Uh, Brazil versus Brazil. Mikado's one inch taller at 6'4". Um, he's 30. Ribeiro's just 28. So they're both still young, right in the prime. Ribeiro, three inch reach advantage. He stands right handed. Mikado stands southpaw. In terms of activity, Mikado doubles up Ribeiro. Six significant strikes per minute to uh, three for Ribeiro. In terms of the uh, takedown average, Ribeiro gets like more than two every three rounds. Mikado, none to speak of thus far. But he has an 82% takedown defense. So hold on a minute. He's coming off the loss to Dante Mays by decision. McParkin, decision. And he beat uh, Slaflarski at Dana White's contender series. So, you know, not impressive so far. 0-2 in the UFC. But so is uh, Ribeiro. So this is like... A highly interesting fight because whoever loses might be might be uh, out of here. Ribeiro lost to Magomed Gadzi Asulov by majority decision. Uh, had three takedowns in that one. Lost to Zhang Mingyang by KO. So, and it just hasn't been putting up good numbers either. 31 uh, significant strikes in the last two fights. That's not good. That's not good. So, very tough one here. I'm going to lean with uh, Kyle Mikado just because of the activity, right? I mean, the guy, at least when he lost, he landed exactly 76 uh, significant strikes in both fights. So he's got the output. So you got 152 significant strikes for him to 31 for his opponent in a fight where you don't like either fighter, right, against probably most of the other fighters in the UFC in this division. So tough one, but I'll take Kyle Mikado to win this thing. Uh Maybe by KO, but he's going to outpace Ribeiro to move to 9-3. and three. So even a decision, he uh, will win that way, either way it goes. Light heavyweight division, UFC, Edmonton. Yeah, and then I, you know, and then I see later that Brenton Ribeiro has a 100% finish rate. But that, that's when he wins, right? He's still 15-7, and seven, so he's losing, or he lost seven fights. And as I said, I'm not a big fan of either of these guys. I got to pick one. And my, I'll go with the guy who's landing a lot more significant strikes. And he's a Brazilian, so I'm sure he can go to the ground if need be. And he'll be able to hang tough down there. So I like Kamikado to get the win. Simple as that. He's going to fight. Wait. He's going to fight. Wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight a call. UFC at its height. Yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might. Saying, step up. Step up, step up. Want to fight? Huh? Hold up. Think twice, ah. gladiator assassin, reckless no abandon, walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass.